We have a lot more control over our lives and our health than we allow ourselves to believe. Unfortunately, too many of us are on that habit trail. We're just on a program. We get up, we go throughout our day mindless about the choices that we're making. We're just in a structure and it becomes very difficult to see that there's any other way of living. And so for me, a, a, a critical instrumental tool has been mindfulness and meditation. And that's allowed me to kind of connect with an inner voice uh, and really relate to you know, the instincts that make the most sense to me. And I think when we can take that moment to pause, when we can be mindful about how we're living our lives, then I think we can create an additional level of awareness that allows us to see more objectively how we're living and perhaps see an exit door or another way of approaching our life that might be more in alignment with our higher self, our, our higher consciousness, or the best trajectory to coin the sort of theme of my podcast, unleashing and unlocking our best, most authentic selves. I think it's important to understand that it's okay to ask for help when you're venturing into an area where you're not the expert. Align yourself with the experts. Create your own board of advisors for all the different facets of your life, professional, relationship, fitness, diet, all of those things. I have people that I can call and rely on and ask questions and allow myself to be okay with not knowing the answer and getting that information from people that do know the answer. Life is about growing, it's about loving, it's about giving of yourself to others. And I think the more that we do that, I found in my own personal experience and those close to me, they're happier people, they're more grounded people, they're more contented. It's all about the journey. There are no destinations in life, really. There are no endpoints. It's about the lifestyle that you're leading now and learning how to really unlock that thing inside of you that gets you out of bed in the morning, that makes your heart beat, and learning to embrace that. And I think the more you can do that, you can anchor yourself in the present. And for me, that's what the journey is all about.